but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Swift going to try up the middle, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 43, here's a second down and six. Once again, it's Swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They go play action with Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 20-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for the defender to shadow him across all that ground. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carry. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. This second and four. Another run here with Dobbins. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. 
Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a third down and less than a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a gain of just a couple there, but it's enough to get him the first. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This time, Jackson will throw it. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. Now Jackson on second down, sliding out of the pocket. And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now it's Jackson. Forced out to his left. in the lead. And this is no good. He missed it. Not a good start here in the kicking department as this remains a 6-3 score. Justin Tucker to kick off Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. After the interception, here's Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there, and he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. Jackson on first down. Being chased out left. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They set up the screen to Hill. And the agility got him a few extra before he's taken down right at the 10. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, 
Maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. Two yards, good enough for a first. Complete to DeAndre Swift. Two yards on the play. First down, Philadelphia. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Get you baited. And his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He drops this one off underneath here for Hill. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Jackson, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 of the 12. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Jackson. It's Hill, complete. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. Dancing to his left. Take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson 